Christy Ruffner here, and I just wanted to share this little presentation with you to take you uh, inside of my experience with MAP and let you see how it's changed my life, how it's going to change my life, and how it can change yours too. I want to begin by introducing myself. As I said, my name is Christy Ruffner. I'm going to be 60 years old this year, and my son is going to be 20. We live together in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho in the United States and that is up in the northwestern portion of the states just um, south of the Canadian border and there you see me with my cat Snips. I'm just an ordinary person with no special skills. Uh, I haven't had any special training, any special schooling, anything like that. Everything that I know has been self-taught. I've been online for about 10 years um, I've made a little bit of money, but nothing like the potential that I have right now, right here with MAP. And so my goal is to share this with my family and my friends, and of course anybody else who wants to change their lives. And the sooner the better. Now this is a picture of my back office. I just wanted to show this to um, give you an idea of when I actually started with MAPS. I, I registered on the 30th of January. Um, it was right in line with my decision to make some changes in my life. I'd hit a place in the end of January where I was just really done with the way I was doing things. Um, I had sworn I wasn't going to go through another winter on uh, my paper route and there I was the end of January um, through the greater portion of a winter and I decided it was just time to take the plunge and give my notice. So I just wanted to show you here how the universe is really perfectly in tune with our absolute desires. If it's something that we really, really want, um, the universe is going to supply it. And so this screenshot shows that my registration date with MAP is just right in line with, with where my head was at at the time. Now my mentor and sponsor in MAP is uh, a man by the name of Simon Stepsis. He's been um, successfully marketing online for 17 years and I've been following him since I listened to an interview he gave as an income leader in another opportunity that we were in together. And he wasn't my sponsor in that opportunity, but when he said he missed an event for that opportunity because of MAP, that really got my attention. And so I watched the presentation, and with the information that he gave me, I got out my pencil and paper, and I started working out the numbers. Now, I want to start by showing you that I initially purchased 40 packs um, on the 14th of February, and within two days, I had enough profit share to purchase my first credit pack from profit share. So I want you to see that you start making money immediately and it re how much is really depends on how much you get started with okay so when I initially got my pencil and paper out I wanted to work up the figures and see for sure if this was really the opportunity that it looked like from the numbers that Simon was giving me and really I was looking for something that did depend on referrals to make me money and it looked like MAP was just the deal. I just had to work the numbers for myself. And everybody should do that. Everybody should sit down and, and really work out the numbers for themselves, taking a realistic look at, at what they can do and what they can get, and make their own decision from there. Don't put it off on somebody else. In the following slides, I have reproduced that pencil and paper exercise to show you exactly the potential that I saw in this program. And when I worked up the original numbers, I was planning on only buying 20 credit packs. But when I actually took action, I put my fear behind me and I purchased twice as many. I'm glad I did. Now this is a screenshot of one of seven pages I worked out to see where I would be in about 120 days if I purchased 20 credit packs at a dollar per day for 60 days because if you'll remember if you've heard anything about map your credit packs expire as soon as they reach sixty dollars now you pay forty nine ninety nine for them so you pay fifty dollars for them and you get back sixty so that pays you back your original purchase price plus ten dollars so I use those figures and I 
um, worked it up day by day, dollar by dollar, pack by pack, and what you see in front of you is uh, day one through day 15, and I tried to make it really pretty simple to follow. I tried to be very consistent with my numbers, how I laid it out on the page. So with day one, if you have 20 packs, that's $20 that you make in day one at a dollar a day per pack. Day two, you've got your original $20, and then you make another $20, you add that together, you've got 40, right? Day three, you have that original 40, plus you make another 20 from your 20 packs, that makes $60, that's enough to buy one pack with $10 left over. That gives you 21 packs for day four. So that's $21 in profit, plus the $10 you had left over, that leaves you with $31. So I worked this math day by day, and what I came up with was by day 37, I had doubled my packs to 40. By the time you reach pack 41, you're making enough money to buy a pack a day. So before that, we were buying a pack every other day, and then by the time you reach 41, you're starting to buy them every single day. By the time I reached day 60, I had in my possession 62 credit packs. Okay? And I had an original 20 that is going to expire on that day. That leaves me with 40 credit packs. So that leaves me with twice as many credit packs as I started out with. Now that's all fine and dandy. But at that point then, you're going to start losing credit packs at the same rate that you bought them before. So I had to continue to extend out this math to figure out where I would be by the time I reached day 120. So um, we buy a pack, and then I went back and looked at the days that I bought a pack back on the first 60 days. And every day, that's what these numbers are off on the side that start with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Those are days that relate to the first 60 days when I had my 20 credit packs so that I could keep track of when my credit packs were going to expire. So you buy a pack, you lose a pack, you buy a pack, you lose a pack, and you sort of get the feeling like you're not making any ground because you're losing packs, as, it seems like, as fast as you're buying them, but you're not. Because by day 120, you've increased your packs to 56. Now, it's not as fast growing as it was to begin with because you're losing credit packs, but you're still gaining ground. You're not staying even. You're not falling behind. Simply from profit share, you are making more packs than what you're losing, and so you are gaining ground. Now, I will reiterate here that, if you, that you will grow faster the more that you buy. So if you start out with more, you're going to get further faster, which is what's happening with me. And I'll show you um, some shots here. This is April. When I made up this calendar, I was purchasing credit packs every other day. And um, I refuse to use any examples except what I'm actually experiencing. So at that time, it looked like by April 9th, I would have 65 credit packs, when in actuality, I have 72. Because at some point, I was able to start purchasing credit packs faster than every other day, obviously, right? Now, projecting that out further, because I am now purchasing credit packs every day, I can use that in my example and using a credit pack purchase every single day by the time I reach 90, which is the date that it actually looks like our credit packs will start expiring, um, I should have 107 credit packs. That's, that's purchasing every single day. Now, I anticipate that at some point there, in uh, towards the end of that 90 days, I'm going to have some days that I'll be able to purchase more than one credit pack. 
And so I anticipate this number being higher than 107, but I don't know. So I'm not going to use that number. Um, so my goal by the time my original 40 credit packs expired, I was hoping to have 120 credit packs so that I would have 80 which is in line with my scenario with the 20 credit packs. By the time I hit expiration of my original 20, I ended up with 40. So with in real life, I'm hoping that by the time my original 40 expire, I will have 80 left. That's my goal. And so we'll just have to wait and see. But I'm going to be close. I can see that I'm going to be close, and so that's encouraging. So I just wanted to share this with you, um, show you how it's really working with real numbers in real time, and that it might give you some confidence to go ahead and get started with as, as much as you feel um, comfortable with. Uh, you can always buy more as you start seeing that it's working. Um, you know, if you sit on the sidelines, you get nowhere, um, but that's your decision too. You have to make your own decision because you're the one that's going to have to deal with the consequences. All I can say is that people are making money with this. Um, the ones that are putting more in are getting more out. It's just sort of the law of the universe, and that's just the way it works. So um, don't expect miracles. Don't expect um, something to materialize out of out of nothing. Um, you know, it just isn't realistic to think that you're going to go into an opportunity and not make any kind of an investment in your time, your money, your um, spirit, your heart, and you know, get incredible results because that's just not realistic. And if it's if something does start working out that way, be careful because more than likely it's going to fall apart because it's not sustainable. MAPS is sustainable. It is uh, realistic numbers being paid out um, from real uh, money that's being spent in a real product. So, you know, to me, that means a lot. Um, to me, that means that this program is going to be around for a while, and so no matter how long it takes me to get there, I'm going to get there. And by there, I mean my ultimate goal is 1,200 credit packs. And you get out your pencil and paper and work that up and see what you think that is and if it's something that you feel like you want to go for. So anyway, this is getting a little long. I'm going to close it up right now. And I wish you the very best of luck in everything that you do in your life. And if you have any further questions, feel free to contact me. Feel free to contact whoever it is that might have uh, shared this video with you. And I'll see you in the next video.